Greetings in Christ to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ King Mission Seminary. Today is Thursday within the octave of Easter. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Sabello San Luis SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to Saint Judas will now begin. Please rise. Great Saint Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all hopeless souls, in our trials be our refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, desolations, endless pleading, saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client's suppliant, saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client's hearts in desperation me the dreary toils of life countless thousands have you strengthened by your power in their strife your warm love turns abating for the hopeless ever wailing, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant, Saint of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters, we come together for our novena to St. Jude today. And let us pray for our intentions in this uh, novena. And in particular, we pray for many people who are... Uh, suffering still as they recover from the uh, COVID uh, pandemic. And also we pray for uh, peace and that the um, war in uh, Ukraine may end. And especially we pray that uh, the uh, head of uh, Russia uh, will uh, somehow uh, <clears throat> decide not to continue with this uh, war. St. Jude in his letter says, May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Through the intercession of St. Jude, let us approach with confidence God and ask him to give us the graces we need to follow faithfully his son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of Saint Jude that the church may constantly grow by the increase of the peoples who believe in you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
short reading. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to Saint Jude. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, Christ have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on, us. on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, Christ hear us. us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously, Christ, graciously hear us. us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy, mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Saint Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary, pray, pray for us. Saint Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who had the honor of beholding the Divine Master, humble himself to wash his feet. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved Master caused you, had a consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost. Pray for, Pray for us. us. Saint Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who converted many people to the faith. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who restored an idolatrous king to health, both of soul and body. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who took from deadly serpents the power of enduring man. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who, disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached the doctrine of Christ. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine Master. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Novena Prayer. Together we pray. Saint Jude, Saint Jude glorious apostle, faithful, faithful servant, servant and friend of Jesus, Jesus. The name, the name of, the of the person who betrayed our Lord, Lord has caused you to be forgotten by many, but, but the true church, church invokes you universally as the patron of the desperate. Pray for me who is miserable. Pray for me that I may finally receive the consolations and the succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly the following. And that I may bless God with the elect throughout eternity. Saint Jude, worker of miracles, please pray for me. Saint Jude, helper of the hopeless, please pray for me. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Concluding acclamation, together we acclaim. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. 
Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. So now, dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> we proceed to uh, our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> let us uh, pause for a moment to think of our failings and our sins in order to be worthy of our celebration of the Mass. So let us now think of our uh, transgressions and our lack of faith sometimes in our life. I confess to so Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king O god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone Lord, are the Most High, Lord. Jesus Christ, with the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory, glory of God, God the, Father. the Father. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good. Let us pray, O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people. You children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us, as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? 
the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You deny the Holy and Righteous One and ask that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses, and by faith in his name, this man whom you see and know his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you. Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration, of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin, and to him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days, You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, In your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless, to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him? or the Son of Man, that you should care for him. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You, made, you have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus <clears throat> recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do you question? Arise in your hearts. Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead, and on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in uh, today's uh, Gospel, we read and you heard about uh, the appearance of our Lord after he had uh, risen from uh, the dead. So dito ay binigyan ng patutuo ng ating Panginoon ay uh, nabuhay na maguli. This is very important uh, because if uh, Jesus Christ had not risen from the dead, then uh, our faith is uh, nothing. We would not be coming here to attend Mass. Uh, we would not be uh, uh, also uh, uh, saving, uh, trying to save ourselves. And so St. Paul said, if Christ is not risen, in vain or useless is your is our preaching and your believing is nothing is useless so that's why the resurrection is uh, the most important or the greatest episode in our life as uh, Christians and Catholics Kaya mga kapatid, uh, ito ang uh, bedrock of our faith. So, if Christ had not risen, St. Paul said, our life is uh, useless. Let's eat and be merry, for tomorrow we die. And that's the end. But with the rising of our Lord, well, there is life and that there is life hereafter, and that one day when we die, we will also follow in the footsteps of our Lord. Well, so while we are still in this world, 
then whatever uh, vocation and commitment we have in life, then we should uh, also remember this. You know, there are some who ask me, Father, bakit ba kayo nagpare? Uh, um, ang hirap yata ang buhay ng pare. Walang asawa, walang pamilya, ano, at uh, mag-isa kayo sometimes when you are in a parish or in the missions. It's very lonely. Well, of course, uh, to be a priest is a calling. And uh, there are indeed uh, sacrifices. There are indeed uh, difficulties that uh, happens in the life of a priest or a celibate, uh, a celibate uh, uh, nun. But uh, dear brothers and sisters, that is a vocation that uh, we have. At uh, ito po ay uh, isang uh, commitment to our Lord in His work of the Church. And this is our, our own calling. But uh, we should also remember that uh, even you, my dear brothers and sisters, kayo pong mga married uh, couples, that uh, life is not uh, just uh, joy and uh, uh, happiness and comfort, but uh, there are many sacrifices also, uh, just like, you know, our life of priests and uh, nuns. So, uh, for example, that we do not, uh, uh, you, you as married couples, do not think that uh, your married life is uh, all uh, um, bed of roses. There are also many thorns, maraming mga uh, problema, maraming mga difficulties uh, in uh, married life. Alam ninyo, nung uh, ako po ay uh, nag-officiate uh, ng uh, kasal ng uh, a friend couple, and uh, I did not see them for about three years. Then later on, I uh, met them. And I said, uh, kumusta na kayo? Hey, um, <clears throat> well, okay naman, Father. Pero alam niyo, Father, na tutunan ko na sa buhay palang mag-asawa ay may tatlong sing-sing or three rings. Uh, ano ba itong mga rings? Bakit tatlo? Well, Father, una, yung engagement ring. Ang ikalawa ay wedding ring. O oh, anong ikatlo, sabi ko, Father, suffering, sabi niya. So, uh, sabi naman ng missis, tinitignan yung kanyang uh, asawa, sabi niya, mayroon pang isang ring. Ano naman yun? Ay kung yung kabiak ay may tiri ring, sabi niya. So, that is the fourth ring. Well, of course, uh, uh, indeed, uh, there are many rings and uh, sufferings in life uh, here in this world. And just like our Lord Jesus Christ, well, he went through uh, sufferings in order to save us. And uh, that is why uh, this is important to remember that part and parcel of our life in this world uh, is filled with sacrifices, with uh, uh, difficulties and uh, hardships in uh, relationships, in uh, our uh, life here in this world. So um, let us uh, remember the words of Saint Paul when he said, if you suffer and die with Christ, then you will also rise in the 
glorious resurrection of our Lord. So sana po mga kapatid, isipin natin ito sa kabila ng ating mga paghihirap. Lahat tayo ay mga cross. Lahat tayo ay mga rings, mga sufferings. You know? But if we follow in the sufferings of our Lord, then we will also enter into His glorious resurrection when we pass away from this life. Amen. The wisdom of the scripture reveals God's plan for us. As we journey with Christ, let us pray that his path of life may become clearer each day. Let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That, as a church, we may be faithful in proclaiming the gospel of repentance and forgiveness. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in recognizing the goodness of Christ, the reason, Lord, we may bring social justice to all. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the scripture may give enlightenment to those in the darkness of sin and despair. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may recognize the presence of the risen Lord in the Eucharistic breaking of the bread. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our leaders, government officials, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and that they put the welfare of the general public first above self-interests. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that the dead may rise to the fullness of joy in God's presence. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence we pray for our other intentions. Let us also include uh, the intentions of uh, the following uh, Rosie Suntai, uh, Lita Ilano, uh, Marie Rose Navarro, Johnny Helen C., Anita Marie Ilanes, and uh, also um, Bernadette Del Valle. God, our Father, our hearts burn within us as we listen to your only begotten Son. Accept the prayers of pilgrims journeying on, on this and his path of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. na ito ang tinapay na nagmula sa pagpapala mo at tanggapin ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa iyo mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin ang munting alay mula sa amin Buong puso namin Hihintayin pagpapala na amin Hiling Aming hatid alay na ito Napay na nang mula 
sa pagpapalabot at hanggapin ang alak na ito inuming inihain sa iyo Mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin ang munting alay mula sa amin buong puso namin hihintayin pagpapala na amin mahal namin Diyos inyong tanggapin ang munting alay mula sa Pagpapala na aming hiling Pagpapala na aming hiling Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But uh, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesso, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here, and our lives uh, streaming audience. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Brothers and sisters, let us pray with confidence to the Father and the words our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Before we offer each other the sign of peace, let us uh, pray uh, again for uh, peace in the world, um, like in uh, Ukraine, and also our nearby country, Myanmar, uh, because uh, 
there is also uh, turmoil there with the uh, military uh, junta took over the uh, government. And let us also pray for those who have problems with uh, peace and also uh, good relationships in uh, families. So uh, now let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Jesus, word of love. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Jesus, Lamb of God. of the world grant us peace this is our lord jesus christ in the form of bread and wine he gives himself as our spiritual nourishment happy are we who are invited to partake of this heavenly banquet Lord, Lord, I am not worthy Lord, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ give us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Bye-bye. 
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. Saint Arnold Jansen and Saint Joseph Reinademitz. Pray for us. Please be seated for a while.
Other uh, brothers and sisters, uh, I would like to thank uh, those uh, who have uh, donated uh, uh, for our uh, seven uh, last words uh, that uh, was uh, presented as uh, a Good Friday. And um, thank the Lord that was uh, very uh, successful. Uh, so many of you came here, and there were also uh, so many who uh, watch on TV uh, the uh, yearly uh, seven last words. So uh, thank you for your uh, help and uh, donations, and for those who also sent uh, advertisements. And then, um, now, one of our um, projects that we are doing is uh, the uh, solicitation of help for our poor seminarians. Yung mga mahihirap uh, nang gagaling sa mga uh, mahihirap na pamilya. Lalong-lalo na those who have been um, really uh, <coughs> severely uh, severely uh, uh, help uh, in this uh, this pandemic uh, which uh, lasted for almost uh, more than two years so um, I hope that uh, you will help especially the new school year is again starting and um, if you wish to help or give uh, financial uh, support, you may um, um, <clears throat> send to uh, my BDO savings account. That's Father Isabello R. San Luis. And um, the uh, account number is um, 000 22 Zero zero of uh, five one six two three. So um, that's it. And uh, again, thank you to everybody, and uh, God bless you also for helping us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in glory with our risen Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.